Not even the pouring rain could stop Oktoberfest diehards. After a two-year COVID-19 hiatus, Germany's renowned beer festival is back. Once again, welcoming people from all over the world with close to 500 beer tents, restaurants, fish and meat grills, and wine vendors on offer. There are also 180 rides, shows, and amusement shops for the children, some of which only exist at Oktoberfest. We, we planned our whole Europe trip around uh, really ending up here as our last stop. I learned later that I was supposed to get engaged on this trip in 2020, uh, and then, you know, now here we are married uh, and all, kind of on our honeymoon. Vendors, too, are happy to be back after two years away. It's like a small family business, and it's very sad because I love doing something else between my day, year in, year out job, so I love doing this one once a year. In 2019, close to 6.5 million guests consumed some 7.3 million liters of beer. Now, in its 187th year, Munich's mayor is happy to see a return of the festival that in 2019 brought in over $1.3 billion for the city. Es ist schön, wie man sieht, ist auch die Begeisterung wieder zurückgekommen. Und ich bin auch ganz sicher, dass die München und München und alle Gäste sich wieder freuen auf die Wiesen. There are no masks or other hygiene requirements at this year's Oktoberfest, yet experts are already pointing towards a potential spike in COVID-19 cases due to those jam-packed beer tents as well as densely packed crowds. Organizers are also warning people to dress a little warmer this year as there will be no outdoor patio heating in an effort to try to conserve energy. The power consumption of Oktoberfest in previous years has run around 2.7 million kilowatt hours, amounting to about 13 percent of the daily electrical needs of the city of Munich. Another consideration that has come up over the two-year hiatus is inflation. This year, a traditional one liter of festival beer runs upwards of 14 U.S. dollars, an increase of 15 percent from 2019. However, the alcohol content in that beer is also up to 6.4 percent. One new tradition developed over the COVID closures is the Wursthaus Wiesen, or Tavern Oktoberfest. Launched in 2020 as a consolation to the times of the pandemic, more than 50 pubs will host their own versions of Oktoberfest, inclusive of all the traditional decorations, dress, food, music, and of course, beer. Oktoberfest will continue, rain or shine, for the next 17 days until October the 3rd, German National Unity Day. Natalie Carney, CGTN, in Munich.